In this video, I'll explain the arcs of circles method. In this problem, major x is given as 120, minor x is given as 90. Draw a line AB of 120 length and locate midpoint O. From O, draw a perpendicular to AB of 90 length and call it CD. CD will represent the minor x. Next step is locating the focal points F1 and F2. To get F1, take AO as radius, C as center, draw an arc onto AO line. Then F1 can be obtained as shown. Now take same AO radius. C S center, draw an arc on to OB line as shown here. Then F2 is obtained. In this way we can get focal points F1 and F2. Now mark some points in between F1 and O. Let us say some 3 as shown. 1, 2, 3 points you can mark. Next take a1 as radius, F1 as center, draw an arc on the top side as shown. After that, take same A1 as radius, F1 as center, draw an arc on to bottom side as shown. With same A1 radius, F2 as center, Draw an arc on the top side and draw one more arc on the bottom side with same A1 radius. That means totally with A1 radius we are drawing 4 arcs. Now take B1 as radius, F2 as center, draw an arc as shown. This arc will intersect with the previous arc and you will get point B1. Draw one more arc on the bottom side. This arc will intersect with the previous arc and we will get Q1 point. Now with same B1 radius but changing the center to F1 as shown, draw an arc. This arc will intersect with the previous drawn arc and we will get the P1 dash point as shown. Bottom side also draw an arc with same B1 radius and F1 as center that will intersect with the previous arc and you will get Q1 dash point as shown. Now take A2 as radius. F1 as center. Draw an arc on the top side. Draw one more arc on the bottom side. Now change the center to F2 and draw one arc on the top side and one more arc on the bottom side as shown. Now take B2 as radius. With B2 radius F1 as center draw an arc as shown this is intersecting with the previous arc and we can get P2 point as shown. If you draw an arc onto the bottom side that will intersect with the previous arc and we can get Q2 point as shown. Now with same radius B2 changing the center to F1 draw an arc as shown then you can get P2 dash. If you draw an arc onto the bottom side, automatically we can get Q2 dash point. Now change the radius to A3. Next take A3 as radius, F1 as center, draw an arc here. And draw one more arc on the bottom side as shown. Now change the center to F2 and draw an arc on the top side 
and draw one more arc onto the bottom side. Now take the radius as B3. Radius B3 and F2 as center. Draw an arc that will intersect with the previous arc and we can get P3 point. Draw an arc onto the bottom side and automatically we can get Q3 point. And now change the center to F1 and draw an arc. Here you will get P3 dash. If you draw an arc onto the bottom side, we can get Q3 dash. Now draw a smooth freehand curve passing through all these points as shown. Now I'll explain how to draw the tangent and normal to this ellipse. Assume that the given point is 35 mm from the major axis. Then draw a line parallel to the major axis at a distance of 30 mm. Then you will get point P as shown here. Now draw the line joining P to F1 and F2. Then F1, P, F2. For that angle, draw the angular bisector. That angular bisector will become the normal. Then perpendicular to this angular bisector will become the tangent as shown here. 